Hello students, this problem is very important one. This is perpendicular to one plane and parallel to another plane. So in the basic line problem, this is the third one. Uh, here, perpendicular to one plane and uh, parallel to another plane means, suppose this is a ground and this is a line means, so here you can say the line is, the starting point is here and the end point is here. The sharp one end is will be the end point and this is the starting point. The starting point is nearer to the ground. So we need to consider this also here. So the starting point is nearer to the ground. Otherwise the end point is nearer to the ground. So whatever, whichever is given in the question, we need to consider according to that. So the question is given now. A line 40 mm long is perpendicular to HP, sorry, uh, perpendicular to VP and parallel to HP. And one end of the point is, one end of the line is, okay, the starting point of the line is 10 mm in front of VP and 5 mm above HP. So here, we first we need to draw the XY line for the XY line. I just drawn Y and this is X and this is VP and this is HP. Here we can draw line at the center here. Next, it is said it is the line is 5 mm above HP and the starting point is 5 mm above HP and 10 mm in front of VP. So this is the points and the line length is 40 mm. From here it is 40 mm. 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is the end. In case the line here is, this is A and this is B, starting points. And this is a point. Here we are, how we are going to name it, that is very important. So while seeing from the front view, the point B is visible first. In case, this is a starting point and this, this is a starting point and this is an end point. This is a starting point and this is an end point. It is located here means while seeing from the top, the end point is only visible, not the starting point. What is the end point name? It is B. So B is visible and A is invisible. So we need to mark it in bracket. So that is very important. So that only I told this is very important. So these are all the basic problems. After understanding these all the basic problems only we can go to the next topic that is the main one. That is projection of lines inclined to both the planes by rotating line method. What is rotating line method? So that we can see it in the next video.